Hey there, Browns fans. Welcome to Dog Blog Live, the show that's all about you. Well, it was a heartbreaking game for the Browns in Oakland on Sunday. The Raiders blocked Phil Dawson's 40-yard field goal as time expired, giving the Raiders a 26-24 win. Browns QB Derek Anderson mounted a valiant comeback, but a sluggish start, which led to an early 16-point deficit, was just too much to overcome. Now in his latest podcast, the Plain Dealer's Tony Grossi says it might be time to start the Brady Quinn talk up again. I would be in favor of getting him in as soon as possible at this point because the guy you got in there is going to drive you nuts. I mean, he's going to have a great throw, a great quarter, a great game, and then he's going to be the exact opposite the next game, the next quarter, the next whatever. You can listen to the rest of Tony's podcast at cleveland.com slash Tony. In this week's Talking Points, Mike Conley and Dan Lobby break down your thoughts on the Browns-Raiders game. Talking Points. Hey there, Browns fans, and welcome to Talking Points, the portion of Dog Blog Live where we take your comments from the Browns forum and discuss them right here in a roundtable fashion. Dan Lobby alongside Mike Conley and Dan, first up, one fed up dog states, let Anderson start and then put Quinn in to play the second half on Sunday against the Ravens. Well, it's not a bad idea, but if they were going to do that, they should have done it last week. I don't know if I want to see Quinn thrown out there to the Ravens defense, and then you'd probably have to play him next week against a tough Pats defense. That could be bad news for a rookie. Now, Drunken Dog in the forum, he wants to know how much responsibility does Phil Savage need to bear for this team? Well, I would say a lot because he oversees the scouting staff that's out there each and every Saturday trying to find the talent at the college level. Then, in the end, he's primarily responsible for the talent that's on the field each and every Sunday, so it has to fall on his shoulders. Policy Winery states, are we better off now than we were three seasons ago? Well, you'd like to think so, but, you know, while the talent's improved, we haven't seen those results on the field. I mean, we've seen it before where they win a big game like they did against Cincinnati, and then they find a way to lose the next week. It's just kind of the same cycle again and again. So, no, I don't think we are better than we were three years ago. Well, that does it for this week's Talking Points. Remember to post your comments throughout the week in the Browns forum, and you just might be featured right here on next week's show. Now it's now time to toss it over to Alana Monroe, the fan favorite, and this week's Browns Mailbag. Thanks, Mike. So the Browns lost a winnable game in Oakland this past Sunday. And as always, you shared your thoughts in the dog blog and Browns forum. Here's a small taste of what you're saying. Cleveland Cincy posts, bench right, start Holly. While Wright may, quote, have more natural ability, according to Romeo Cornell, Holly was much better at keeping guys in front of him last year. Ryder Dog adds, special teams played great until they failed to seal the line on a game-deciding field goal. Ranger asks, Still trying to recover from, we underestimated the Raiders. How in the world do we underestimate anyone? Well, it's a new week here in Cleveland, and it's time to put the loss behind us and look forward to Sunday. Share your game predictions and post-game thoughts by leaving a comment below. Now onto the user-submitted photo of the week. NW Browns fan uploaded this shot of him and his brother at Cleveland Browns Stadium, enjoying Week 2's win over the Bengals. Are you tailgating this weekend? Grab your cameras and picture phones and snap some photos or videos. Use the links below and you may be featured in next week's episode of Dog Blog Live. Now we'll send it over to the predictors for their thoughts about those stinking rat birds. Predictors. It's all about Jamal. Give him the rock and the Browns win. 24-20. Hey kids, I've got a story. CDA. CDA throw. C. Ed Reed dance in the end zone. Ravens 24, Browns 10. The moment has arrived for all those anxious Brown fans. Quinn gets in, he earns the win. The Browns 24, Ravens 17. Predictors. Don't forget to post your comments and send your tailgating photos using the links below. That does it for now. We'll see you next week when we break down the Browns-Ravens game. Bye-bye.